Thank you for watching live and local KWN TV. Welcome to Sheriff's Talk, a public affairs program of KWN TV 7. Join us every week as we talk various aspects of law enforcement and how important it is for the citizens and law enforcement to work together. Now join us for another edition of Sheriff Talk on KWN Live and Local TV Channel 7. And good day, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sheriff Talk here live from the studios, KWN-TV, or at least live when we're, uh, we're putting the show together, depending on when you may be watching the show. We thank you for tuning in. Every uh, week, of course, we take a look into law enforcement in the North Alabama, North Georgia, and Southeast Tennessee area. Some of the activity that's been going on with the uh, departments of Jackson, DeKalb, Marion, and Dade County. We are glad that you joined us here. We've got uh, a lot of things to talk about it and today there's been several arrests over the last week or so uh, we're going to tell you uh, about a officer that lost his life from DeKalb County we'll have some information on that a uh, a uh, operation by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation Homeland Security and the Dade County Sheriff's Office has put one person in in uh, jail and we'll give you the latest matter of fact we've got a press conference uh, that we'll show you that happened uh, late uh, last week uh, with uh, Dade County Sheriff's uh, Sheriff Ray Cross, and we'll we'll uh, we'll show you that coming up. Also, there's been a couple of uh, hit and run accidents over the last few days, and a couple of pretty major drug busts that have uh, have uh, have transpired and by officers. And we're going to give you updates on uh, these and other stories coming up. So, uh, and I think I did mention, but to also uh, we'll give you information more on that Marion County man that Sheriff Bo Barnett told us about that's been missing now for uh, several several weeks. So we'll give you updates on these and other stories coming up here on on sheriff talks so stay with us we'll be right back as we continue this week on sheriff talk Looking for that next new-to-you vehicle? Well, Rayburn Cloud at Cloud Auto Sales has just what you're looking for, including a 99 Ford F-250 Super Duty with new tires, big V10 for only $4,700. How about an 06 Ford Expedition Eddie Bauer model with the V8 loaded at $4,995? Or an 09 Nissan Altima Super Gas Mileage with that 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, only $5,995. See Rayburn Cloud today at Cloud Auto Sales, Alabama Highway 71 in Higdon, 597-3273 for Cloud Auto Sales, and like us on Facebook. Facebook. Everyone at Guthrie's in Trenton says thank you for five fabulous years. It's the fifth year anniversary celebration going on right now at Guthrie's. And right now, you can log on at discoverday.com, click on the Mountain Valley Independent. You'll find a coupon that you can present for $5 off the finger or wing bucket or the 40 or 60 count finger platter. And while you're at Guthrie's, check out super lunch specials going on right now during our fifth anniversary celebration. Thank you for five fabulous years at Guthrie's. Highway 136 West next to the Dollar Tree in Trenton. HVAC repair and service you can count on from SNS Service Company, a locally owned and operated business that uses high quality materials on every job. Call on our crews for regular maintenance, minor repairs, and new installations. Spurgeon is a name that's been trusted for decades, so if you need an energy efficient HVAC system, we've got you covered with Arco Air products. Arco Air and SNS Service Company, enduring performance. SNS is fully licensed and serves the Northeast Alabama and surrounding area. Call 256 632 2500 today for SNS Service Company for your HVAC needs online at snsservicecompany.com. Tennessee Valley Net, your local provider of fiber optic high speed internet. TV with over 200 digital channels available and phone service with lots of extras. Fiber optics from TVN is expanding to many areas. Call and see if TVN is available in your area. 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net today. Bundle and save on fiber optic high speed internet, digital TV and phone service. All from Tennessee Valley Net. 706-657-4367 online at tvn.net net. Doing your taxes yourself is just not a good idea, especially with changes in the Affordable Care Act and college tax implications. Nancy Anderton at NL Tax and Bookkeeping has been serving the Tri-State area since 1978. Let NL Tax and Bookkeeping use their knowledge and expertise to get you the correct refund fast. Ask about direct deposit and fast returns. NL Tax and Bookkeeping is open 8.30 to 6 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, and 8.30 to 2 Eastern on Saturday. 500 Alabama Highway 73, 7 miles from downtown Trenton. Call today at 657-4758 or 597-2829. Brenda on Facebook at NL Tax for the latest tax information. 
Join us for the Radio and TV Classified, weekdays at 9 a.m., 8 central on KWN-TV. Back now to Sheriff Talk here on KWN-TV. We welcome you back this week. Uh, several things that we're going to be talking about on today's show, including a, an arrest that was made. It was a joint investigation that had been going on for several weeks that uh, you'll hear the Sheriff tell us uh, about here in just a second. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, along with Homeland Security and the Dade County Sheriff's Department, all uh, uh, together on this investigation into some child pornography that was found on uh, on a computer and some other devices. Uh, a Richard Petkoff arrested last week by the uh, GBI and Dade County authorities on these charges. Uh, we're going to go down to a press conference that was held last week with uh, Sheriff Ray Cross, and uh, we'll go to that now, and we'll give you an update on what's been done since then. Okay, good afternoon. Um, the Dade County Sheriff's Office, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and also Homeland Security have been uh, conducting an investigation in our county that's uh, started approximately two months ago. Uh, due to the uh, investigation, a uh, subject has been arrested this morning at approximately 10 a.m. in our county, a man by the name of Richard Petkoff. Uh, he lives at uh, 301 Castle Drive here in Trenton, and I have a short narrative here from the uh, GBI. Uh, on Wednesday, March the 30th, 2016, Participating officials executed a search warrant on 301 Castle Drive in Trenton, Georgia, in reference to an ongoing sexual exploitation of children investigation involving the distribution of suspected images of child pornography. As a result of this investigation, Richard Petkoff was arrested and is currently being held in the Dade County Sheriff's Office. At this time, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, my investigators, the GBI and Homeland Security, have been working on this case for, like I say, approximately two months now. Uh, we are proud to say that we've got this guy behind bars. Uh, we're trying everything we do to keep our children safe here in Dade County. And due to this investigation, we've got another predator behind bars. Sheriff, uh, talk to us a little bit about how this came to your attention. Are these victims local? Uh, there's no victims, as we know of right now. Uh, these were just uh, images that they've been putting over the internet. Uh, back and forth. We're still investigating who else is involved in this. Uh, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Homeland Security, and my detectives are all working together in this joint investigation. So you don't think he was taking the pictures, just sharing them? As far as we know, that's all that's going on right now is sharing. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you found when you went inside the house today? Uh, there was, I believe, a computer that had uh, quite a bit of images on it. Uh, a flash drive, and uh, to my knowledge, I believe that may be all right now. Maybe a cell phone, I'm not sure. Uh, and we also have search warrants for each of those devices that uh, our investigators are going to be looking into. Were, were any of those flash drives or computers at all trying to be concealed under the baseboards or anything? Uh, not that we know of. They were out in, in most in plain view. Well, my job as sheriff is to keep our citizens safe, and I will continue to do that throughout my career, um, whether that be drugs, uh, you know, sexual crimes, or whatever. And this just shows me that our officers are doing a great job as far as getting this kind of stuff off the streets and, and putting these people behind bars where they belong. Are you still opening up to the possibility that there could be victims here locally? Uh, we have no indication of that right now. Like I say, we're still under investigation. Right. From what we understand, he's only been here two or three years that we know of. Uh, I think he was renting the property. Uh, is that perhaps why the Homeland Security is involved with their ICE division? Because he might not be a citizen or. Uh, no, he. I believe he is an, an American citizen. If, that, if that's what you're asking. Yes, I believe he is a American citizen. Can you tell a little bit more about um, how you guys, all the agencies, work together? On well, we uh, we help each other. We're, law enforcement is a big family, and we we reach out to other agencies uh, all across this nation. Uh, all sheriffs do. Uh, currently, I you know I work. Uh, I have a uh, joint meeting 
quarterly with other sheriffs from other states, Tennessee and Alabama. And we also, you know, work with every other agency as far as the federal agents, uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Homeland Security, ATF, you know, whatever agencies that we can have that relationship with. I know law enforcement departments are using specialized dogs that are able to sniff out uh, evidence related to child pornography. Do you guys have any of those today? No, no, sir. This was a, uh, under investigation, the, the computer that was used in this stuff, they, our agents are trying to track that kind of information going back and forth, and that's what led to this, to this arrest. What is your reaction also to people who exploit children like that? Um, I think they should be in prison. It makes me very upset. Okay. Trenton's a small community. Um, anything you want to add about how may or may not reflect your community? Uh, we have a wonderful community. Uh, Dade County, in my opinion, is one of the best communities around here. Uh, you can go 20 miles south, north, whatever, and I don't think you'll find a better community than Dade County. Our, our people that live here in this county love each other, love this county, uh, especially our children. We're very active in sports and our school system and everything else, so we're very, in our, ch in our churches also, we're very, very pro-family here. I would just like to add, I, I just want to thank uh, Georgia Bureau, from Bureau of Investigation, uh, Homeland Security, and my detectives and all our officers for all their hard work that they've done in this case. And hopefully we'll see this guy prosecuted and, and uh, you know, sent to where he belongs. Any idea what, the, what kind of, if he's convicted, what kind of time could be facing jail? Right now, I don't. It depends on, you know, there, there's, through the investigation, there could be other charges coming up, so I don't have any idea right now. Will your office be really Yes, it is available for, for release. That, of course, is uh, Dade County Sheriff Ray Cross with a press conference, uh, him and Captain Hicks there uh, last week. That, uh, as you just heard, a joint uh, investigation, Homeland Security, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and the Dade County Sheriff's Department. Now, Petkoff remains in the Dade County Jail as of this week. He had a first appearance uh, uh, in front of a judge, a magistrate judge. He will go before a superior court judge to have a bond set later on. Mike, as of uh, right now, you got some but uh, you got a picture of him up mm -hmm. right now, of uh, of the um, of the person that was arrested last week. Yep, that is uh, Richard Petkoff of uh, Castle Drive, here in Trenton, arrested and charged with the sexual exploitation of children. As the sheriff uh, pretty well uh, explained in the press conference, uh, the uh, you know the the foundation of the charges and so on and so forth by the GBI, Homeland Investigations, and the sheriff's office here in Dade County. And as you mentioned, he is still in jail in Dade County. Uh, Superior Court will have to set his. Uh, set his bond preliminary hearing uh, to take place, and that's what we know about him so far. All right, another uh, story out of last week that we want to give you an update on, and that was a uh, hit and run uh, involving a small child. And we say hit and run, we, we've learned some additional information that Mike's going to update us on, and uh, we do now know that the uh, person that was involved has been charged officially with a couple of charges, and it is now out, or she is now out on bond. Give us the latest, and uh, also how we got to here, Mike. Well, what we do know is uh, that happened last Thursday afternoon. Uh, Trenton police investigating what was initially called a hit and run, a child hit by a car on Killian Avenue in Trenton just afternoon on Thursday. Investigator Tim Mitchell, uh, very, uh, very informative to us. The child was home uh, with his mother and an aunt. The aunt went out the door. The child followed. Uh, initially, they were unaware that the child had followed. Then the mother realized it took off out the door basically after the child, but it was uh, too late. It had already been hit by the car there. And we do know that the child was not injured severely, uh, no broken bones, uh, stayed in stable condition, I believe stayed at least one night in Chattanooga. A blue Pontiac, uh, possibly a Grand Am, folks were looking for that, uh, the community effort to find that. Felicia Gail Tiffin was arrested late on Thursday in connection with that, and officials credited tips from the public that led to her arrest. Now, she is charged with leaving the scene of an accident and, of course, driving while her license is suspended, but we have learned over time that Tiffin actually took the mother and the child to the uh, paramedic station 
And that is uh, that is at that point where she apparently left, uh, telling um, Detective Mitchell or Investigator Mitchell rather that uh, she was just simply scared uh, was the reason why she left. Uh, she was located later in the evening, and uh, so was the car. And she made her first appearance in Magistrate Court last Friday, and then again yesterday. And Judge Joel McCormick telling us uh, that she has been released at this point on a twenty-five hundred dollar bond. So that's where we are on that case so far. All right, thank you, Mike. And once again, she has been released uh, the bond set at $2,500 for those two charges and she has been released from the Dade County Jail. Got another break coming up. Still lots more to come here on Sheriff Talk this week. We've got a couple of, uh, uh, of drug arrests that, uh, that involve some methamphetamine and we'll talk about that. Also when we come back we'll talk about something uh, that's very tragic. One of the uh, local law enforcement losing their life over the weekend. We'll give you uh, the update on that coming up. Stay with us. You're watching Sheriff talk here on KWN TV. A time-tested financial institution equipped with the latest banking technology. The Bank of Dade with mobile banking to fit your on-the-go lifestyle. Download our latest app today for your iPhone, Android, or tablet to bank on the go. Check your balance, pay bills, make deposits, and keep track of your account anytime and anywhere with the Bank of Dade's smartphone app. Make life easier by using today's most advanced banking technology to your advantage. Call us at 657-6842 or visit on the web at bankofdade.com. Your hometown bank since 1956, the Bank of Dade. Main offices on Highway 11 North in Trenton and drive throughs on Highway 11 North and Highway 136 West. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Attention, small business owners. Want to save money on your employee health insurance plan? Learn the little known solution that could save thousands of dollars on your health insurance benefits and save your employees money too. Call Health Markets for a free consultation, and one of our 3,000 local agents will show you how to make health care reform work for you. We'll design customized solutions for your business that can lower health care costs for you and your employees. We'll work directly with you to determine your needs. We search thousands of health plans from over 180 health insurance companies nationwide. You'll also find out if tax credits could save you money. Best of all, the service is free of charge. See why Health Markets has enrolled Americans in more than 2 million insurance policies. You don't have to wait for open enrollment to lower your cost. Call now. Find out how much you and your employees could be saving. Call 800-603-9983. Hey, 800 Hey, Aunt B don't get around as good as she used to, and she's in need of a lift chair. Well, Andy, you gotta nip it in the butt. Comfort Gallery has catnapper lift chairs in stock with free delivery and setup. Catnapper reclining sofas in leather, designer fabrics, and even camouflage. Catnapper rocker recliners starting at $269. Hey, Andy, I just been over to Comfort Gallery. They also have England sofas by Lazy Boy. Queen size pillow top mattress sets now $299. King size sets just $399. Is that a fact? Surprise, surprise, surprise. They now have free one year layaway and six months, same as cash. And listen up, Andy. For the credit challenge, they now offer no credit check payment plans. Located in Kimball, Tennessee, in the Old Hills Building. That's Comfort Gallery Mattress and Furniture. Open seven days a week. Y'all go by there and see Gary. Comfort Gallery, 780 Main Street in Kimball. Free delivery and setup. 90 days, same as cash, and easy payment plans. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 5, and Sunday, 1 to 5. Telephone 423-837-3000. Join us every week for Game On with Chris Goforth on KWN-TV. Back now to Sheriff Talk here on KWN TV. As we look at some of the events in law enforcement around the area, got some tragic news to be able to pass along to everyone in the tri state area, and that's one of the correctional officers that worked for the city of Fort Payne. Uh, he died over the weekend in a uh, car accident, Mike. Yeah, and it, uh, it is a very tragic situation that we've uh, learned about uh, over time. A corrections officer with the Fort Payne Police Department killed in an early morning crash on Sunday. His name's 23-year-old Cody Wells. He was driving a Ford Focus that went off the road there on, on the Highway 85, just above Fort Payne. According to Alabama State Patrol, he was not wearing a safety belt, was pronounced dead at the scene. Chief Randy Bynum there says uh, the department will miss him, and sympathies, of course, go out to the family and friends. And I believe his services are going to be held on Thursday at the Wilson 
Funeral Home in Fort Payne for those who uh, may be interested in attending that. And that is some uh, bad news. Young, uh, understanding he had a family, and I know law enforcement around the tri-state area mourning his uh, his loss uh, from a uh, motor vehicle accident. Here on Sheriff Talk, there was a couple of uh, uh, pretty major drug busts here in the last week or so just uh, are here in Dade County. The first one we want to tell you about uh, happened since our show from last week, and this was a uh, traffic stop that led to uh, uh, an arrest on the interstate. Yep, and uh, it's been a uh, it's been a pretty uh, active time here for that uh, last Thursday afternoon. In fact, the sheriff's office had three people in custody after a routine traffic stop that yielded a large amount of methamphetamine. Canine officer um, Casey York actually initiated that stop. It was simply for a window tent violation, but during the investigation, uh, they found uh, several other things going on there. Deputy York used canine Faro to conduct a, a free air scan of the vehicle, which alerted a problem. And through that, as you see uh, there on TV, some of the items that are found. I'll take the uh, line off the bottom so you can see the other picture as well. Uh, more than two ounces of methamphetamine uh, confiscated there, as well as some other uh, materials uh, as well. Charged in that, Robert Jackson McKinney, he's 42, from Covington, Georgia, charged with trafficking cocaine, illegal uh, drugs, as well as uh, marijuana, uh, possession of methamphetamine to distribute. Also, uh, John Joe Medrano, he's from uh, down at Fort Payne, also charged likewise, and also was charged in that, Tracy Marlene Davis, she's 42, from Valley Head, charged with the uh, same, except she did receive the uh, charge of uh, light-reducing material affixed to the windshield. So, obviously, she may have been either the driver or the owner of the vehicle. And that was last Thursday on uh, I-59. Well, we're also learning that this week another uh, uh, traffic stop with uh, with the same officer, I believe, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. led to uh, four people being arrested on drugs. It has. Uh, Old Pharaoh has been uh, very busy. Uh, that's the canine dog that uh, belongs to Deputy Casey York. And, yes, they have been busy. Another traffic stop. This, in fact, on Monday evening, four people on methamphetamine and drug-related charges. You see them there on your screen along with some of the syringes that were located in the vehicle during the search. Uh, that on uh, Spring Lake Drive. I believe that's on Sand Mountain for a vehicle failing to maintain their lane of travel. Four occupants in the vehicle. They were placed into custody after Faro alerted on that vehicle as well. Uh, syringes, pipes, marijuana, methamphetamine found during that search. Arrested from left to right on your screen. Jason Yvette, Tyler Atchley, Crystal, uh, Crystal Vandiver, and Cassandra Way. Magistrate Court has set the bail in the amount of $25,000 for Yvette and Atchley and $20,000 for Vandiver and Way. So a busy last few days for drug teams here in Dade County. These uh, stories that we're showing you, of course, uh, you can look them up yourself at uh, discoverday.com. They are in the uh, latest edition of the Mountain Valley Independent. It's available right now if you'd like to go and see those and look at it more in depth. And, uh, of course, that's at discoverday.com and click on the latest edition of the Mountain Valley Independent. Another quick break. Come back. We're going to talk about a reward that's being offered for a missing Marion County man. And also the Sheriff Academy is kicking off in Dade County this week. These and other stories coming up as Sheriff Talk continues all around the Tri-State area. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank Marion Countyans will ever need. At 402 North Cedar Avenue in South Pittsburgh, 4765 Main Street in Jasper, and at 14087 Highway 28 in Whitwell. Providing the highest standard of customer services with a personal touch. Our associates can help you with personal loans, personal lines of credit, a variety of mortgage loans, and more. And we offer real-time internet banking too. See us in South Pittsburgh, Jasper, and Whitwell today. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank Marion Countyans will ever need. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. BBS Wholesale and Salvage Grocery in the Higdon across from Ponders on Highway 71. Now at BBS Wholesale, get fresh eggs, milk, and cheese. Check out our new frozen food section now available. Check out our super deals on name brand laundry detergent too. Get large bags of snacks at unbelievably low prices. BBS Wholesale is your headquarters for Easter goodies. We have paper products, canned goods, health and beauty aids, cereal, and more. Inventory changes weekly. BBS Wholesale and Grocery, Higdon, Alabama. Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 11 to 3. Now accepting EBT cards. Methamphetamine affects everyone, your neighbors, your friends, and even your family. Know the signs. Physical symptoms include, you may have extreme difficulty sleeping and even insomnia, and you may lose your appetite. Know the signs. Please know the signs. You can seem nervous and anxious and even have paranoia. Know the signs. Overheat easily and sweat without even being hot. Know the signs. 
dilated pupils, and even hair loss. No the signs. Hallucinations and delusions. And you can also have tachycardia, which is a rapid heart rate. No the signs. You may have liver damage and loss of skin elasticity. No the signs. You may notice unexplained financial instability and social isolation. No, the signs. You may have a false sense of euphoria, coupled with a strong depression, and even risky behavior, legal trouble, memory loss, and repeated incarceration. Please know the signs. Unfortunately, we do. Welcome back to Sheriff Talk here on KWN TV. We're uh, thankful that you uh, take your time out of your schedule to be able to watch the show, keep up to date with what's happening with law enforcement around the area. Last week, uh, Marion County Sheriff Bo Barnett was uh, here on the set with us, and he talked about a uh, reward that's being offered for a missing Marion County man. Now, we have his picture uh, up on the screen right now. Mike, give us the latest and the amount of the reward and how we can, uh, if we have information on this, uh, let the Sheriff's Department know. Yeah, real quick, there's not been a lot of change in this particular story. This is Wesley Ridge. He's been missing since around March 14th. That puts him missing nearly a month uh, from the Guild area. That's just right over into uh, Marion County from Dade County. He's originally from the Powell's Crossroads area, and like uh, Evan said, Sheriff Burnett was on with us in the past show and said uh, Ridge was very close to his family and very much not like him to just disappear. He's 39 years of age, is uh, heavy set according to the sheriff, around 5'10 in height, and uh, added that the TBA, uh, TBI is ad- aiding in the case as well. They have a few leads, and they're following up on everything. The information number to contact uh, the Sheriff's Office in Marion County is 423-942-2525. Chief Detective Gene Hargis is actually working the case. The family has tossed in money for a reward, as has the Sheriff's Office. That total reward is $3,500 for information leading to the location of Wesley Ridge from Marion County. All right, Mike, thanks for that update there. And, of course, if you have any information around the tri-state area, I know Sheriff Bo Barnett and the investigators would love to be able to talk with you. There was another hit and run earlier this week. It happened out on the interstate, and we want to quickly give you an update of the information we've got on that. All righty. One person uh, was arrested, according to uh, according to the jail this morning, after a hit and run in Rising Fall. It happened. Monday night, Sheriff's Office dispatch telling us the call came in from the Mapco Express there at Deerhead Cove Road. The alleged perpetrator had uh, taken off and was actually arrested in a parking lot at a restaurant here in uh, the Trenton area. 22-year-old Jake Dempsey Clary of Cottondale, Alabama, arrested. He's been charged with possession of a Schedule Four controlled substance, violation of the open container law, DUI, hit and run, following too closely, and a seatbelt violation. Magistrate Court in Dade County has already set his bond at $25,000, and as of 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, Clary was still in the Dade County Jail. We'll continue to keep you up to date and get the latest on that in the Mountain Valley Independent. All right, once again, these and other stories can be seen at discoverday.com and click on the latest edition of the Mountain Valley Independent and you'll be able to read all about these and other stories that uh, we accumulate throughout the week. The Dade County Sheriff's Department is kicking off their Citizens Academy this week and may still have time for you to get involved if you'd like to uh, to uh, to go. It's a 10-week course. We've talked about it uh, before here on Sheriff Talk. Let me give you a quick number to call if you'd like more information. Call the Sheriff's Department at 706-657-3233. That's 706-657-3233. That's 657-DADE, by the way. And uh, tell them you like your information on the Citizens Academy. You still may have an opportunity to get involved in that kicking off this week here in Dade County. Appreciate it uh, watching here on KWN Sheriff Talk. We'll be, uh, of course, continuing with our show and uh, keeping you up to date on what's happening around the tri state area. Stay with us. You've been watching Sheriff Talk live from the studios of KWN TV 7 all around the tri state area as we give you information that you can use concerning law enforcement. Join us again next week for another episode of Sheriff Talk, a public affairs program of KWN TV7.